This was a difficult review to start because I didn't want to stop using the product long enough to tell you about it. We'll talk about the features in a minute, but I just want to emphasize how good this sounds. This is a high fidelity experience. And yes, it has 80 watts of power, but it's not about the volume. This will fill your room with music that makes you want to listen closely and bathe in every detail. This enclosure contains dual 20 watt full range speakers and a 40 watt subwoofer, but it goes beyond that. In the back are dual bass reflex ports. And I think that's what gives this such an immersive 3D experience. Any kind of music is going to sound fantastic on the Soundbox XL, but I encourage you to explore the subtle side of your collection. You may re-experience details that you haven't heard in a long time, or maybe ever. As I was preparing for this review, I just, I was listening to music and I knew right away this was something amazing, but I just wanted to hear one more track. Well, what about this artist? What about this style of music? What about this one has this weird instrument in it? Well, what about, um, oh, this one has rain in the background. What would that be like? It, it's just, it, it's a process of exploration and discovery, and you just don't want it to stop. We live in a world of compression and compromise where volume normalization removes artistic expression. And when you find something that is the opposite of that, it's, it's so refreshing. All right, enough gushing. Let's talk practical features for a minute. Here we have the charging port. It's USB-C, thank you very much. This is the USB for your memory sticks, a TF card slot, and a 3.5 millimeter line in. All right, I was saving this for last because it drives me nuts. These are the controls. And yes, they do have ink on the buttons, and yes, it's large enough to read, but it still does that long press, short press paradigm. And why? Look how big this thing is. There's plenty of room for more buttons. Why are we sharing track control and volume? You know that's just going to cause problems. It caused problems for me. And these are actually responsive controls in probably the least worst implementation of long press, short press, but I still don't like it. Give me more buttons, <laughs> what? please. There are two missing features in my opinion, and one is missing from just about every Bluetooth speaker, and that is the randomize function for your physical media. Yes, I realize you would need to create an index table, and let's say it was 100,000 tracks, but come on, RAM is free. Missing feature number two, and I realize this mostly makes sense for physical media, but I would like a remote control for this, especially if you're going to make me do short press, long press. Just give me a remote and I'll be fine. How do I rate the DOS Soundbox XL? Ultimately, you don't judge a speaker by its controls, but by how good it sounds. And this speaker entices you into a world of clarity and beauty where you just want to listen to one more song. 10 out of five. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.